Mm. Uh, it's all um, ideas right now. I mean, like, I've tried a few things, how to open and start this video to like make it pumping and exciting. But instead, let's just let's just get right into it. Yes. One of the wonderful blessings, if you can call them that, that God gives to us in this week's Torah portion, if we will study his Torah intensely and live the lifestyle he wants us to live by doing the mitzvahs, is that five of us will be able to pursue 100 of any enemies that want to rise up against us. And a hundred of us will pursue 10,000 of them. And I'm no math expert, but if you think about it, the blessing that five will pursue a hundred is technically that each individual soldier alone will be able to take on 20 of the enemy's ranks. But then a hundred of us should be able to miraculously take on 2,000. How did it suddenly turn into 10,000? I mean, that's, it doesn't really work. Um, so yeah, $50, or, um, or maybe you want to give 104. Well, why don't we actually just rewind that and uh, slow motion a part of it to get the beginning of the answer. Miraculously. Miraculously. See, this blessing isn't just a blessing that... Let's not confuse technicalities with miraculous blessings, okay? Technicalities and rules of mathematics are just another one of God's creations. And, you know, if God wants, he could make it work and not work at the same time, which is kind of what's going on here. But the point is, it's a miracle. It's not a blessing that we will be able to handle a certain amount which is disproportionate to our own self. No, no, no. God is telling us that when we are together, we have miraculous power. Five of us can take on a hundred of them. But when a hundred of us are together, when there's more unity, more Jews powered together. Why? Why does there always have to be bugs on my face whenever I'm in the middle of filming? Just it's that when we are five, when we are united, we have an amazing, miraculous power to accomplish so much more than what naturally makes sense. And when we are more united, or when there's more of us that are united, a hundred will be able, will have a miraculous, supernatural power disproportionate even to when there were five, which itself was miraculous. And may we all be united you know we are one let's be one in action and together demand from Hashem we want Mashiach now so we can experience the ultimate blend of this godly paradox of the natural and supernatural in a revealed way within our lives may this be now Wait, 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 wait. Let's be one in action. That means not just verbally demanding Mashiach, although that is extremely important and we must do that. But we must physically, actively, in action, get in Mashiach mode. That means start living with the joy that we are going to live with when Mashiach is fully revealed. Start living with the love that we are going to live with when Mashiach is fully revealed and hit up those acts of goodness and kindness like there's no tomorrow. Hit up those mitzvahs. Hit up studying some more Torah. Because very soon, Mashiach mode is going to be the default mode. And while we still can, let's work to be in this mode. All the best.